Welcome to the session today, and it's a pleasure to have you with us. Um, so yeah, uh, my challenge uh, had started uh, about almost two years now, actually. I keep saying a year and a half, but it's been two. Um, and it uh, started as a breast cancer. Um, and I had decided not to take uh, chemotherapy, and I wanted to, to do it on the natural uh, path. And, uh, but yeah, so I... <laughs> I went through a lot there. I tried almost, no, I mean, I've tried so many things, really. Uh, I've done the plant-based diet, obviously, and um, to begin with. And then I've done a lot of um, ayahuasca and healing, other medicine healings. And um, uh, I did uh, a little bit of um, qigong and acupuncture and yeah, tried a lot of things, um, but it seemed like my situation was not really improving, and um, a year and something in, I uh, had, um, you know, my, my belly was filled with liquid, and my lungs were filled with liquid, and had lost a lot of weight, and it was really, really difficult, but <laughs> for some reason, the day that I decided to go and um, take the, um, the chemotherapy, um, <laughs> the morning I was uh, just watching uh, some YouTube videos and uh, it showed up uh, some interview with uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza and Jay Shetty or something. And I just listened to like five minutes of that, um, of that interview. And he was talking about all the healing that happens uh, during the, the week long. And I was like, wait, what? Like, let me see, I'm, I'm here, I'm in Cancun. I'm like, not even uh, what turned out to be, I was 15 minutes away from, from the event. And, um, and there's two days left to sign up. <laughs> And it was like, okay, this starts the same Monday that I'm supposed to start my chemotherapy. No, this must be my last chance before chemo. And it was just really insane. I could not believe that I had the chance to, to sign up for this and actually be there. A week long, I got to see you on the video. <laughs> and um, with my Monique. friend is yeah, yeah. My friend looked at me and he said, Maya, this is you. You're going to be there. <laughs> and I signed up for, for the, um, the sessions with you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did eventually um, 10 sessions. Um, but the, the, the first one or the second one, I think it was, um, I had um, within the first 10 minutes of the session, um, right, so I forgot to mention that, that by the time I got to, um, to start the sessions with you guys, I had um, been already at the hospital and I got the liquid out from my belly and from my lungs. And um, immediately because the liquid was removed, the mass kind of covered my stomach. And um, I was not able uh, to eat anything or drink anything. And I had like this thing that they put here for me so that they can feed me something liquid. And um, yeah, so I had lost a lot of weight as well. And um, when I had the, the session, uh, within like 10 minutes, I felt like something had just done this to, to my uh, tummy area. I, I don't know. It was really physical. Like it wasn't, I wasn't imagining this. It wasn't like in my visual. It was a physical thing that I felt. And I was like, okay, this is like unbelievable. I can't believe that this is what I'm feeling, right? And I just wanted to like hold on to it. And thank you, thank you. Just keep saying thank you, thank you, thank you throughout the entire session. And um, <laughs> the next day it was very late. And when the session was over, I was so tired. 
and I just fell asleep and then the next morning I was like hey what happened yesterday this I, I need to I need to try something so of course I'll try with the tea first with some liquid and it goes in and then one of my cousins came by and um, he's like I'm sorry I'm bringing this um, um, you know this breakfast thing that we we usually have here that I had not eaten it for like over a year or so and uh, he said I'm sorry but it's for your dad I'm like hey you know what I'm gonna try this <laughs> guess what I'm gonna try it <laughs> and then I just had this thing um, and it stayed and and and, and since that day, I was actually able to eat, and uh, it, it was just, it was amazing. I, I don't think anybody really could believe me and my family when I said, like, I've been through this meditation, and then within 10 minutes of it, there's just, something was blown in my stomach, and like, that's it, it was gone. And they were like, no, you know, this must be things that happened with the, like, no, it was there at that moment. I, I know it. <laughs> there was nothing that, there's no doubt that it was that, that moment. Um, yeah, and then I, um, I did a PET scan, uh, not a PET scan, sorry, a CT, and, um, and it showed up that uh, really the, there was a huge and massive improvement. Uh, actually, the guy that, that um, the, the doctor that takes a look at these uh, scans, he didn't wait uh, for my oncologist to give me the answer. He actually called my father and said, look, this is what's going on. She has a 90% improvement from the previous scan that was taken a month, not even a month before, it was three weeks before when I was in the hospital. So, I, I mean, I don't think any, I still don't know. <laughs> I st it's, it's still hard for me to, to get like, and then uh, two months later, I do another scan and um, it's just completely, it had completely cleared out, everything was gone. Um, <laughs> after I, th I think I did 10 sessions in total, uh, co healing sessions. I remember I had a call with you, and, and I was like, Hey, I, I, I need to clear something, and I'm not sure what to do. I'm taking uh, chemotherapy, and I don't think I need it, I don't want it. And, and you asked, So, but the, how are you feeling? I'm like, well, I don't have any of the side effects, nothing. I have zero side effects of chemotherapy. And you're like, well, why don't you just continue if it's not, you know, if it's not bothering you, if it's not affecting you, then just do it. And, and that's, that's really what I did. I, I took the, the chemos, but um, I was basically taking a chemo and doing a, a healing session. And I'm sure I'm I'm hundred percent. It it's not normal that um, not to have any symptoms at all of chemo, like nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm I'm sure it, I wouldn't have been the same if I have not done the the healing sessions. Uh, both the effect of it, uh, I mean, on the how do you say it? on the weekly basis and, and the, the overall results, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Beginning, I just uh, listened to them uh, during the, like during the session I was in it. And then um, I think the last, maybe, I can't recall, but, but the last few ones, I remember uh, Janet kept saying, just listen to the recordings as many times as we can. I was like, hey, I haven't done that. <laughs> and yeah, I just started listening to them like every day, uh, morning, before going to bed, at least two, three times. I mean, until I fall asleep, I would just repeat until I fall asleep. And um, I did, I did a little bit of the meditations of Dr. Joe Dispenza. I also just recently though I started Qigong and I just now think um, I wish I knew this before 
because it's 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 so to, it goes so well together with the with the work that this group is doing and with the Joe Dispenza's everything. Uh, but yeah, I believe you know things come in perfect timing, and I guess it's what I needed. You know, what I needed back then was just those sessions, and now to continue, I feel like you know this gives me the independence of of, of working with my own energy and just uh, growing this way. It's it's not easy to decide what to do, of course, when when you face uh, this you know when you face anything that's uh, kind of life-threatening um i know that uh, fear kind of takes takes over takes control of everything um but i i just uh, and i can't really tell anybody oh just do this way and it will work for you i know that things different things work for different people but one thing i'm 100 percent sure of is attending these co-healing sessions is a must. I I would, you know, it's a must. Whatever you decide to do, whether you decide to take chemo or not to take it or go on a plant-based diet or not, because I actually was eating a lot of sugar. <laughs> I did. I ate a lot of sweets and that's why I was so scared of the scams as well. I'm like, you know, how much can these healing sessions do <laughs> but yeah they they won over sugar <laughs> yeah yeah um and yeah do do practice qigong if you connect to it if you feel that this is something that you know would um, improve your daily practice um yeah before before the Dr. Joe Dispenza even, uh, I was I did I thought I was doing everything correct, right? Just doing everything correct. Get your vitamins, get your supplements, get your, um, you know, your nutrition, your food, and I was doing I was doing all the right thing, but I wasn't really being, yeah, and. Um, yeah, I was just doing everything also out of fear, <laughs> right? So it didn't, I, now I understand that it didn't matter what I ate and what I didn't eat because I, I, my whole body was filled with this, with this energy of, of fear, which is, yeah, not helpful. <laughs> it's the complete opposite of what, what I actually needed, right? Which is the energy of love and and this is what what you guys gave me the opportunity to connect to this and to to really feel that to actually feel it not just like not here um, i don't know i yeah i i keep telling like i thought i knew what love is like in my head i knew what it is but i i never before that actually felt it like from my heart so yes, thank you so much for that. For for this is not only a healing from you know from a disease. This is just a completely new way of being. I don't understand how how I was without it, <laughs> or anybody is really without it. I'm so grateful for you, for for all of this, for you, for this experience. I'm so happy I even got this disease, you know, because yes, I need, that's what I needed apparently to get where I'm today. And I will, I'm not, I don't want to change it for anything. I, I can't, I can't ask for any change. This is just, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you.